Okay, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Carl Freud. I'm with Calzada. We're a venture backed startup based in Austin, Texas. We're producing ARM server chips, which means we take the chips that you have in your cell phone in your pocket and we're going to build big servers out of those little power efficient chips for lowering the cost of energy, of large scale data applications, and large scale web servers. So, obviously, energy usage is one of the major issues faced by data center operators. Um, how is your product going to work and what's the what's the, the way that it will it's, address it's some of these problems? Yeah, if you look at the way a cell phone works today, it, it actually turns on and off uh, seven times a second. A server never turns off. If it tries to turn off, the, the idle power of a server is like 60 or 80 watts of power. Our server running flat out is going to be about five watts of power. So you'll be able to stack up a lot of these uh, processors in a fabric of these um, nodes and be able to run a cluster that can lower your energy cost by about uh, tenfold. So 90% reduction in energy cost, comparable reduction in space requirements. Space requirements significantly lowers the, uh, the cost of data center build out. A modern 50 megawatt data center costs about a half a billion dollars to build out just the data center infrastructure itself. So we can obviate the need to, to, to build a whole new data center. You can save a company half a billion dollars of capital outlays in addition to the savings they'll realize just by having lower energy costs in their operations. So tell us what your products are uh, going to look like. You talk about you know, shrinking the, the massive amounts of servers into a, a smaller form factor. Yeah. Yeah, ba basically our projections would have a, a Calzada based server, it could be a 2U server with up to, let's say, a 120 quad core nodes. Um, that would provide roughly the equivalent processing throughput of an entire rack of commodity servers today and deliver somewhere around one tenth the energy uh, requirements to the data center. So one rack to a single 2U server and reduce energy requirements by 90%. So let's talk about computing power. Uh, one of the the, uh, the questions a lot of folks have about a low power ch uh, chips is, you know, uh, how you have to kind of make them work together yeah. to equal the, the some of the horsepower that you see in the the, the more uh, energy intensive uh, chips that you see today. Yeah, I mean it's it's a lot like a lot of analogies, you know, in airlines or automobiles or trucks. Uh, you know, it, it's a question of how you get a lot of data from point A to point B. Uh, one way to do it is a very fast processor, in which case you have to keep that processor busy, which means probably a lot of memory. It also means perhaps some virtualization software, which is not cheap. Um, and, and, and that, of course, consumes processing power and energy itself just to virtualize the processors. The other way is to say you probably have, for some applications, you have too much processing power for the job at hand. So instead of trying to get more work done by that fast processor, use a slower processor and then have a better balance for things like big data applications, like Hadoop, NoSQL, web serving. Um, uh, just run a slower chip, uh, use lots more of them, and reduce your cost of, of processors and reduce cost of energy by really having a better balance between storage, memory, and compute resources. Bring them into balance with a lower, uh, more energy efficient. A lot of this is just based on math. Uh, uh, the faster a chip goes, the energy consumption goes up by at least the square of the frequency of the chip. So a lower frequency chip, if, if done properly and with a proper power management capability, will produce uh, the same results uh, in used in a scale-out application at a significantly lower energy on the And will applications originally written for uh, these uh, the current generation of chips be able to, to uh, easily make the leap to the, the kind of server set of Some will, some won't. Right. If, you're, if you're talking about a, um, let's say, a relational database system, no. For a relational database, uh, single thread performance is key. Um, but for highly threaded, highly parallel applications, MPI applications, um, Hadoop applications, Java, um, LAMP stack, uh, those applications will move over very, very easily because they're already based on an open software platform. Right. And ARM is already the largest Linux platform in the industry by, uh, I think it's about 90% of the Linux market today right. in terms of devices is running Linux on, on ARM. Uh, so you've got already a lot of ecosystems that can run just fine 
of 32 bits. Uh, those that won't, great, you run them on an x86 platform. Those that can run in 32 bits, they're the, they're the ones that will get significant cost reductions and acquisition costs and operational costs. So when, when data center uh, operators hear that there's a product that can save them a lot on energy, their question is usually, well, when can we have it? So, have one of these. Well, what's your roadmap look well, like? Our, right? our roadmap right now is uh, we're working with OEMs right now, server manufacturers, to productize our chips as our chips become available. Those products will be available for end user testing uh, sometime later this year. And so then we'll take that testing, fix some bugs, there are always some bugs, tune some software, that's always op additional opportunity for performance. And so you can probably expect these to be in volume market uh, sometime in 2012. And of course we're here at the Big Data Conference. Uh, what kind of uh, feedback and conversations are you you're having from the companies that have really large data uh, requirements? So what are what are they making of uh, uh, of Calzada and uh, the the ARM uh, alternative here? Well, the energy is energy consumption is such a big pain point uh, for big data because you're talking about very large scale out applications. Not always, but for many of these, you're talking hundreds or thousands of servers ganging up on a big piece of unstructured data to produce insights for companies and drive top line revenue and reduce cost. Um, if the energy required and space required for those clusters is too great, it slows them down. So a lot of the end user customers we're talking to, as well as a lot of the suppliers of software to solve those problems, really see an excellent fit for big data and ARM-based computing in the future. Uh, this dense computing style is a good fit because the folks at Google and Facebook and elsewhere built that software infrastructure specifically to exploit scale-out architecture. So it's a good fit. Uh, there's a lot of excitement. Uh, the common question is, when can I get one? Uh, not, do I need one? Uh, so that, that's a good response to get at this point in our development cycle. Listen, Carl, thanks so much for taking a few minutes to talk with us about Calzada. My pleasure to talk with you. Thanks for coming by. Good luck today.